Hi everyone. Hi. Today we are going to do a slightly different topic and that is talking about something we use every day which is our phones and the apps that we use most days, every day. We use a lot of apps because I am on my phone all the time. I know, we all are. Aren't yes, we, we Even are. Even though we try and minimize it, it's hard to get off it. But, it is. Um, these are some of our favorite apps for um, some of them are health related, some of them are travel related or just life. So Life related. Life related, life admin. Oh, don't get me started. <laughs> but yeah, these are the apps that we use regularly and we think are beneficial. So why don't we're going to start with something that I definitely use every day because I spend a lot of time in my car. I drive every single day for work when I'm at work and that is podcasts. Yes, I also listen to them. You do listen to them every day. So for me, I use Spotify for my podcasts because I like the way that I can create a playlist and I put all of my podcasts into there and I don't have to touch my phone while driving. It just plays through my podcast playlist. Yeah, and I just use Apple Podcasts because I'm used to that and I don't like change. Um, but I find that for me it works fine because I'm not driving and I can just choose whichever podcast I want to listen to at the time. The most annoying thing for me about Spotify is there's probably one or two that I do like that aren't on Spotify. That's the only thing that is a bit annoying for me. But there is also Spotify exclusive there podcasts. There is, that yes. You can't to That's it. right. So it's a bit like Coles and Woolworths, isn't it? You've got to do both. What's your favourite podcast? Whoa, I wasn't expecting that. Curveball! My favourite podcast. The like, one that, there's probably two that I like when it drops. Yeah. I want to listen that's to what it. I mean, yeah. Willosophy with Will Anderson. Mm hmm. And the Howie Games, which is a sports-related Australian podcast. He, both of them are interview-style podcasts. Um, mm -hmm. And I've listened to Willosophy from the start, so that's been quite a while. And I've also listened to Howie Games from the start. And um, they've be both been going for a long time. Um, the Howie Games interviews predominantly sports people, and Willosophy interviews anyone, like a lot of a lot of different people, a lot of comedians. Yeah. What's your favourite? Zach Shepard. Yeah, I really like Armchair Expert, which is an interview style podcast as well, but with Dax Shepard. It it's long. It, yeah, it depends. Some of them are quite long. Okay. Um, and I really like Happier in Hollywood as well, which is just like two people that are screenwriters talking about all different types of topics, but a lot of, ho you know, TV type stuff. They're the ones that we listen to separately. Yeah. What are the ones we listen to together? Okay, the one, like, recently. Yes. The Nurse, which is a true, Australian true crime podcast, and it is... We just listened to a couple yeah, of episodes yesterday. it's full on, but it's it's been... I've really enjoyed the style of the podcast. We also listen to Extra Pack of Peanuts together. Um, they're probably the main two that we listen to together. Yeah, we've gone off on a bit of a tangent. Yeah, sorry, it's not podcast. podcast. We really but like podcasts, really okay. <laughs> Next up is our kind of fitness tracking app. We mm. both wear a smartwatch, I wear a Fitbit, and Erica wears an Apple Watch. So I use um, the Fitbit app all the time. I track my steps, it tracks my sleep, and I wear it to bed. Um, I haven't really been focusing on the sleep lately, but I definitely am tracking my steps with the focus of 10,000 a day. Um, and that app gets looked at every day. Yeah, definitely. And same for me, like I track my, you know, my rings on my Apple watch every day, um, since the 1st of July and now it's the 6th of December and I've missed one day where I didn't close all of my rings. I'm so gutted about that, but yeah, I make sure I close my rings every The next app we're gonna talk about is a brain training app. You do pay for this app. Those other apps that we've already talked about are free apps. Um, you can do a seven day trial with this one. It's called Elevate. There's also another one out there called Luminosity. We have been using the Elevate one for a couple of months. We really like it. It's a game, like it is a game, but it's kind of like a training your brain. It's got maths and reading and um, speech. Yeah. Um, so it's kind good. of, yeah, you could be working on like multiplication or division or percentages, or it could be like 
commas, punctuation, commas, oh, commas. we're really bad at commas. But yeah, we've both really been enjoying it. It only takes what, about ten five, minutes, ten, five, five to five ten, ten minutes to do and we do it every day and you kind of, you know, you keep, you keeps getting, you know, the level of difficulty it gets harder, gets harder yeah. and harder. But yeah, we both have really been enjoying it since we, and Started. I think it's worth it. And it's um, a very good quality app. Yes, it is about, a, it's a yearly subscription and I think you pay about $65 a year for that subscription. And if you really think about it, if you were buying like a game to play on your PlayStation or something, mm. you or would be spending that. Or so, yeah. yeah. Okay, so the, another um, app, that we use for meditation is uh, probably our favorite is headspace what's that other one that we've used before i can't remember what it's called you but, were, yeah we were doing yeah, one that you i was doing I like a 50 day challenge in one but headspace is the one that we've probably always gravitate back to it's got a lot of kind of courses that you can do and you can really learn like it really teaches you the basics of meditation and you can do it for five minutes or an hour minutes, or yeah. whatever you want to do um, but I think if you're looking you do pay for headspace, headspace as yeah. well but I think it's a really good quality app and it, it again it offers a free trial if you want to test it out and have a go um, we did the basic and then like the next step which was about 60 days worth of and we did really enjoy it when we were using it. And it also has like some sleep things that can help you. So you I've used them that. before when I was having difficulty getting to sleep. So there's like ones that's just like sounds, you know, like you can make it like a um, waterfall music. Yeah, call it. <laughs> or like crickets and stuff like that. Or they have these ones that's like someone telling a story, but it, oh, yeah. it, it's funny. It's just kind of someone talking and they kind of go in and out and it's just, you kind of not really, yeah, it's, if you have, you know, it could be something to try if you have trouble sleeping. Next up is something that most people doing a low carb or a ketogenic lifestyle have had on their phone at some point, even if you're not a tracker, is a tracking app. So My Fitness Pal, Chronometer, Easy Diet app, um, Carb Manager, everyone loves Carb Manager any of those we prefer chronometer i've always liked mm -hmm. chronometer if you want um some instructions on how to use chronometer i've done a couple of different videos that we'll link in the description below um on how to use it but it's free there is a premium version we don't use that we just use the free mm -hmm. version and if you are tracking your macros this is um something you will want on your phone you can do it on the laptop but it's great to have it on your phone. You can whip it out anytime. You can scan products with them and find out what the information is straight away. Yeah, and I will say at the start, I was using my fitness pal, but you'll soon find out that it gets really annoying in there because there's so, you know, everyone can add to the kind of pool of ingredients. Yes. So and you'll they put, don't add it properly. Yeah, so you can put broccoli in and there's like 600 different versions and you're like, which one is actually broccoli? So. My Fitness Pal and Carb Manager allow um, users to add to the database. Chronometer does not. So Chronometer, the database is set. You can email them a request to add something. I've never had success with that, but it's you're only going to get the one thing on there. You're not going to see 600 broccolis come up because they manage the database. They don't let users, you can add your own, but that yeah. doesn't add to the public yeah, that's database. that's what I was going to say. You can add your own and then it's yeah. there for you to use, but it's not then there for everyone to yeah. use. Another kind of, um, I guess, diet related one would be the, a fasting app we use. It's called Life and we just use it to track our intermittent, intermittent or extended fasting. So it's really easy. You just put... Um, start fasting and then when you have something to eat you hit stop fasting and it tallies up for you over a week how much fasting you've done and you can also be in fasting circles so if there's other people that you're fasting with you can see whether they're fasting or not the fasting the circle circles. we have one but i don't know what the benefit <laughs> of it is really but i like it because one once i hit that button on the fasting app I'm not tempted to eat because my mindset is I've set my fasting up. I know it sounds probably ridiculous to some people. Me. That works for me. So if you're someone who's kind of an obliger, who wants to follow the rules, 
that works for me um, and then I turn it off when I eat and sometimes that means I'm more likely to push it a little bit further because I'm tracking it I'm a I'm a tracker yeah with and, then, that and you'll be like oh I want to get to 18 hours yes. or something yeah, yeah. Another app we've been using a lot this year is a kind of reading, it's called Reading List and it's just where you can log your books. So there's three different sections of it. There's a to read. So if you're at um, the bookstore and you want to create a list of books that you want to read, you can scan the barcode and there's the list. Yeah, so quite often if I'm listening to a podcast, the people have mentioned a book that they've read and they really, you know, whatever they got out of it. And I'm like, oh, that sounds interesting. I'm never going to remember that book. I'll just add it into my to read section. So you can just search it by the name. You can, or you can scan yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and then when you start reading a book, you can say that you've started reading it on this date. And then you can say when you've finished reading it. And then you can go back over the year and see oh my god, I read like 20 books this year, all that kind of thing. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And it's it, free. Yeah, I like that then you can see, because quite often you might not remember the name or the author of all the books you've read as well, and if you're telling someone about it, you can easily just share it with them. Okay, this next one is for the ladies. <laughs> it is a period tracker. We both... <laughs> ladies. We Sorry both about that. <laughs> A period tracker. Yeah. Erica uses P tracker and I use another one, but they're both very similar to each other. It's just very easy uh, life admin, I mm. think, to know when your period's coming and to track it, to know that your cycle's regular and quite often, you know, if you go to a doctor or a specialist or something, they that's something that they will ask. So it's really easy if you've got that information there. It also helps with fertility and stuff like that. That's not I'm why sure. we're using it. Yeah. Um, we are literally using it so we know when our next period is coming. <laughs> but yeah, I like P Tracker. It's free and very easy to use. Last one is a travel related one. We use it all the time to track, um, not track our travels, but kind of to plan our travels. Um, it's called TripIt. Um, it has a desktop and a, la and a uh, phone version. Yes. But we, the thing that we awesome. works really well with TripIt is that Erica creates it. She just sends emails to the TripIt and it adds to our trip. And then she shares it with me so I can see. So if I say, when are we going on that trip again? She's like, check your trip. Eh? That's usually what happens. We can also send that itinerary to our family and friends. So mm -hmm. our parents like to know where we are when we're traveling. So we just send them that. They have to print it. Don't ask me why because they're <laughs> old. But it is, um, it's great because it shows the accommodation and you know, so the, it's honestly so easy to use. So it's basically an itinerary builder. So it's, when I get the, you know, booking confirmation from the airline, I just then forward it to TripIt and it starts to create the itinerary. You can obviously amend it as well. Like it's not set in stone based on those um, kind of booking confirmations, but it's so easy. Like you get your hotel, then you just forward it to Drew Airbnb it. and it just adds it all in in like you know the time sequence and you can easily just go in there and see everything that it all matches up and if there's anything that you can't add like the last trip that we did we added things like the soccer games because it didn't recognize yeah. the tickets we would just add them manually, manually. Yeah. and it's really good because you just have a full visual of exactly what you're doing and and you don't have to, the addresses the booking confirmation yeah. numbers and all of that stuff you don't have to print off a big folder of stuff to take with you anymore because it's all there on your phone yeah so we really love trip it and hopefully we'll get to use it again one day <laughs> who knows we actually just looked at our trip at, um this morning and there was trips in there that never went ahead this year and it, that was it counted like, as past trips it's like when did we go to oh, austin we yeah. never went okay hopefully you found this video useful please put your favorite apps in the description uh, in the comments because i'm always up for new apps if you've got a game you love i'm always looking for a game um let me know in the comments below Thank you so much for watching. We'd really appreciate it if you'd give the video a like and subscribe to our channel and we'll keep seeing you every day in December. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Bye.